Good afternoon, guys. As you can see, no effort made this morning to fix my bed. Don't care. Did it yesterday. That's more than enough. Anyway, today we're going to be viewing some stupid, stupid, stupid American girls on Dr. Phil, Bailey. Look, I've been to America. I lived there for four, five years. Not 45. Four slash five years. And not, not every girl's dumb. But the spectrum there of dumb to smart is quite a distance. I might make this a series... Yes, there are stupid boys as well, but on Dr. Phil, I think there's more stupid girls. There's stupid people everywhere in the world, doesn't matter what country. But luckily, America showcases their stupid people more than any other country. Most of these girls are very, very dumb, attention-seeking. If, if that was my kid, fuck, I don't even know what to do if that was my kid. I can't just pretend to love it. I'm never having kids. We're going to kick it off with a girl who loves to be hit by her boyfriend. According to her, it's how he shows his affection and apparently that shows true love so uh let's take a look at that let's start it now if your boyfriend hits you or beats you up stay with him he loves you yes because nothing says i love you more than a nice whack across the face look it's only okay to hit girls during sex because for some reason they just love that shit because he's risking for you to press charges on him, calling the police, a guy that's willing to do that for a girl. It's amazing. So from the start already, you can tell she has to be doing this for attention. She does want a quick five minutes of fame. It's quite obvious. She doesn't believe this. I can tell in her face. She's not being sincere at all. The other day, my boyfriend gave me a black eye. And it was my fault. The fact that... He put his hands on me means a lot to me because that shows me that he cares. After I realized how stupid I was, I got on my knees and I begged him, like, please do not leave me. Like, I'm so sorry for what I did. Like, you gave me an order and I didn't follow it. And now I know not to disrespect him, not to talk back. You need to appreciate your man. And if he hits you, stay with him. He loves you. So it's either she's, uh, she's looking for attention or she's just emotionally damaged and not all there. But I'm definitely going with looking for attention. I'll tell you why. In a clip later on in the video, listen to what she says. You are saying this to get attention, which I think you're just doing it. Which, look, people go on the internet to get attention all the time, and that's fine. And listen, I, that, that's well, fine. No, you're people wrong. go do stuff. But it's okay unless you're hurting young people to do no, it. No, you're wrong because before this video, I was already, I guess, famous on social media there you go ladies and gentlemen before this video i was already famous so obviously she um she's trying very hard to keep that fame up that's how she got famous for saying outrageous things and she knows exactly what she's doing let's carry on the video okay what the reaction to this has been you've had a lot of people go on your site and i love how old people say your site your website <laughs> a lot of people go on your site I think he means profile. It's not a it's not a site. The site would be Facebook, for example, or YouTube. That's a site. Keep up with the times, Doctor Phil. Fuck, bold headed fuck. Respond to this. What are they saying to you? They're being really mean to me. That's heartbreaking. <laughs> They're being really mean to me. Oh, poor little girl. Like, they say I should go kill myself. Look at her play this little victim role. I bet you wouldn't mind if your boyfriend killed you because that would just show you how much he loves you, right? The reason why many people would be outraged by your comments is because domestic violence is a serious issue and you're glorifying or praising the actions of men who hit their women or the other way around, women who hit men for that sake. You're encouraging domestic violence and I'm sure there are a few idiots out there who would actually listen to what you have to say who justify their reasonings to hit their women or partners. So that's probably why a lot of people are infuriated by your comments, even though you're doing it for attention. But and you say, hold on, hold on, I, I was just misunderstood. Where is this misunderstood? I mean, because he was risking to go to jail, like, he could have gone to jail, you know, if I would have pressed charges. Like, not just anyone is going to go to jail for you. That is definitely a 35-year-old mom who demands to see the manager right there. Demands to speak to the manager. So your theory is that because they're willing to put themselves at risk of going to jail or paying fines or whatever, that you must mean an awful lot to them or they wouldn't put themselves in harm's way 
for you. Exactly. Yes, Dr. Phil, that's what she said this whole time. Like, all you've done, Dr. Phil, is rearrange what she said slightly and say it again. Yes, Dr. Phil, it doesn't take a doctor to get to the bottom of that. I'm Dr. Phil, I'm a genius, I think I figured out what she's trying to say. And therefore, you must really be loved. Not anyone is just gonna go to jail for you, not anyone is just gonna, it's, you know, they're investing time and money and it's just a lot, so like, I can't see why anyone is going against her argument. She's making complete sense. Why would you want to go to jail, risk your whole life, if you didn't love them? It's not that they're abusive assholes or psychopaths. They just really love you. It's better than the fairy tale Cinderella. Books should be written about this and read to kids. He must really care. Do you really believe that or are you just goofing on everybody? You just goofing on everybody. I really do believe that. Like, I get a lot of messages on my social media asking me for advice, and a lot of girls are like, I look up to you, and I feel like I'm an inspiration to them. They feel the same way. This definitely has to be a special kind of breed of girls. Personally, I've never met a girl like that. Your logic is flawed at so many levels that I ordinarily would not give you audience on this platform for two seconds. Other than the fact that... I'm making a lot of money off of you. So thank you, actually. This has been viewed by now over five million people, a lot of them young girls, and I am very concerned that the idiotic message that you're putting out there could cause an innocent young girl to put herself in harm's way following that logic and get herself hurt. Okay? Dr. Phil is such a crowd pleaser, like he just says the most obvious statements. He knows the soccer moms in the crowd are going to love it and soak it up. And they basically give him a standing ovation for just saying the most obvious statement. I bet after the show he just gets gangbanged by all the soccer moms in the green room. I personally think that doing heroin is bad for you. I just want to let everybody know that I don't have a boyfriend anymore because he wasn't beating me hard enough. So I had to break up with him like it just wasn't good enough for me. And that's a follow-up video. Apparently she broke up with her boyfriend because he wasn't beating her hard enough. You can just see in her face she's not being sincere at all and she's just lying and it's all for attention, obviously. And it doesn't take a Dr. Phil, barely, to recognize that. Honestly, Dr. Phil brings these girls on the show because he knows it's going to get a massive reaction. And just like the Catch Me Outside girl, she made him famous. It's not him, it's the producers. They know what they're doing. They all, they're all a team. It's, it's TV after all, so... Whatever can entertain the crowd the most and the TV audience, that's who they're going to put on. Because it's good TV. Alright guys, that will just about do it for this video. Let me know if you want me to uh, commentate on more stupid people. Stupid girls, stupid people, stupid boys, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for all your support. Thanks to everyone on my Patreon. If you want to help support me on Patreon. Because YouTube just keep demonetizing all my content. Even videos titled Random Tweets. Apparently that's not suitable for most viewers. But anyway, yeah, link is here. Right there. Come on, get your fucking glasses out. That one, I'm pointing to it. See? It's purple. The one I post every fucking week. You've, we've, been, we've been through this before. Gosh. Anyway, see you guys next week. Have a good one. No, see you guys next week. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a schedule. But I will most likely be hungover tomorrow morning. I still might make a video. We'll see. Alright, guys. Peace be with you, my lord. Have a good weekend. Mwah. Barry Black invited us to LA. His daughter's sweet 16. I want you guys to perform some of those stunts, like the ones you do on the internet. 
million views in one day. You do pranks for a living? Straight from a conference, me and with my sponsors. I'm representing champions, my picture on the box. You guys are really cool. Real and raw, not fake and phony. Your performance has been pulled from the party. That's it. We're gonna take this party over! Yeah! Everything that we've done is for this moment. What the hell was that? Let me see that. Yeah, I need that. Make that booty stop like freeze You guys are warriors. Are you insane? What are y'all, a boy band? No, we're not a boy band. We're just really attractive. This is the best party I've ever had in my life.